Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout mod review, sort of. Today's video is a bit different. We are checking a Fallout mod out, except it's not a mod in Fallout, but it is a Fallout mod in a different game. And that's going to be the Fallout Weapon Pack by Kaji Mishima for Blade and Sorcery. So if you're not familiar, Blade and Sorcery is a medieval fantasy fighting game where you have some really, really good physics and lots of cool weapons and a huge modding scene. And one of the biggest things that comes out of this modding scene are cool weapon mods. And now we have a Fallout weapon pack where you can take some of your favorite weapons, specifically melee weapons from the Fallout universe, and just absolutely torture some NPCs. Now, that being said, this video is going to be extremely violent and probably demonetized by YouTube. So because of that, I want to take a quick moment to shout out our patrons. Thanks to you wonderful patrons, we do get to make some videos like this, which are probably not eligible for monetization. But because of your support, we can take a risk and try out some really cool and fun mods that just deserve to be shown to the world. So with that, let's talk about what you're actually going to get in this pack. With this mod, you're going to get access to over a dozen melee weapons from the Fallout universe or the Fallout adjacent universe. Some of these are directly from Fallout games and you will recognize them instantly. Others, however, are some completely original weapons that just fit the Fallout aesthetic. So you're going to get some real Fallout weapons as well as some weapons that you might see in, say, a Fallout weapon mod. They're definitely lore friendly to the vanilla style of Fallout, but they're just not a direct Fallout weapon. That being said, they definitely fit and are really cool to be included in this pack to have some nice variety of the different kinds of things you can have, like axes, swords, and maces that maybe might not have been prevalent in Fallout already. So yeah, you're going to get a handful of melee weapons, though the author says that they do want to update it to include even more melee weapons than are already there, and even maybe some firearms in the future after some mods take some much-needed updates after the most recent update to Blade and Sorcery. So what weapons are you going to get if you download right now? Well, let's go ahead and hop in game and check it out. So the weapons are going to be categorized in the vanilla blade and sorcery categories. They do not get their own menu, but that's all right. They are in the appropriate categories, at least. Starting with Blunt, we actually have one of the first weapons that's not actually from a Fallout game, but rather inspired by the Fallout universe. And that's going to be the Can Cudgel, made out of a nice Bush's Baked Beans can with a bunch of metal accessories. This is just going to be a really cool post-apocalyptic mace. The whole handle is actually what appears to be a table leg. This is honestly just really cool and something I'd like to see in Fallout, maybe as a future weapon mod. Up next, we do have the Power Hammer, which is going to be a giant, crazy looking hammer with lots of mechanical greebles. I'm not familiar with this one from Fallout. It may be from one of the OG games remodeled, but I don't recognize it. Then we have the all too familiar Rebar Club from Fallout New Vegas, often carried by Super Mutants and Nightkin. Then we have the Super Sledge, which many of you should recognize. This is going to be the classic Super Sledge as well from Fallout 3 Fallout New Vegas, not the new modern Fallout 4 update. We also have Oh Baby, the New Vegas unique version of the Super Sledge. Don't mind me getting my weapons stuck together there. This is another really cool recreation, just a nice unique version to have in there. And then we have the Tire Iron, another classic Fallout weapon from the early game <laughs> melee weapons. And then finally, we have the X2 Antenna from Fallout New Vegas' Old World Blues DLC. Quite a specific weapon to include, but still a really cool one. This thing is absolutely massive and nearly impossible to control. On to the dagger category, we do have one weapon, and that is the Scrap Knife. This looks like something straight out of As X As Is Mind. It does have some blue tape for the handle. This is not a canon Fallout weapon, it's just sort of a little scrap weapon, but that could easily exist in the Fallout universe. For the swords category, we do have the classic bumper sword, another super mutant weapon, most notably found in Fallout New Vegas. Although we do have a modded version for Fallout 4, which is pretty nice. This is a very fun one, having a giant sword like that to use in VR. Then we have the Chinese officer sword. I don't recall if this was in the past games like Fallout 3 New Vegas, but it definitely made an appearance in Fallout 4. And then we have the all too familiar Shish Kebab, which is really cool because you can use the magic imbue effects from this game to light it on fire. So it does have the proper fire effect that it should, just like in Fallout. Pretty cool little weapon. And this is honestly one I was really hoping would be in this pack, so I'm super glad it made it. Moving on to the axe category, we do actually have a couple weapons. First is the gear axe, which appears to be made out of a pipe wrench and a gear. This one's pretty neat. Another one that's not actually in Fallout, but still looks like it totally could be. Pretty cool little weapon and another nice one to have wrapped with blue tape for the handle. And then additionally, we have the Nuka Breaker from Fallout New Vegas' Gunrunners DLC, the giant Nuka-Cola neon sign attached to a handle. 
And then for our final weapon, we do have the Cosmic Knife Spear from the Dead Money DLC, which is really just a kitchen knife taped onto the end of a stick, but still really cool to have it in the game nonetheless. Additionally, there is actually a Shady Sands map in this pack, so you can go to a Fallout location from OG Fallout. Now, typically we've only seen Shady Sands in a top-down format, so this has been reimagined in a 3D space and comes complete with all of the different buildings and structures, as well as the different farms and fields and even some Brahmin. And the Brahmin, surprisingly, are not just painted on static meshes, they do have physics. They don't move and they don't have AI, but they do have physics, which can lead to some fun interactions, shall we say. Still, really cool to have a map included, and the author does say they want to add more maps in the future. While this is just a simple melee pack, getting to use all of these classic Fallout weapons and some new cool Fallout thematic weapons in a VR experience like this is really awesome. I know that Fallout 4 VR is already a thing, but there just aren't too many games with a real physics experience like Blade and Sorcery, with proper combat and slicing and stabbing. The only thing that even comes close is Boneworks, and even that might be a bit better than Blade and Sorcery, but the modding scene on Blade and Sorcery is just really nice, and we get some really cool weapon packs like this. There have been a ton of different Star Wars, Halo, and other mods, but not too many Fallout mods, so seeing this really piqued my interest, and I really wanted to check it out. Coming from Bethesda games whose melee systems usually consist of just one or two combos and it's the same thing every single time, this is very nice. If you haven't played a VR game with proper sword mechanics, well, the thing is, is it doesn't need mechanics. You are controlling it. Every movement is yours. It's really nice. And being able to see Fallout 4's weaponry behave realistically like this, it's quite an experience. As of right now, we only get to fight against the regular old medieval dudes, but the author does say they intend to add even more maps from the Fallout universe, as well as Fallout-based NPC waves, so long as they can get those working in the future. So that is something I would really like to see, and I'm curious if you guys would like to see it too. If this mod does continue to be updated and they add future maybe raider NPCs that you could fight against on Fallout-based maps, that would be something cool for me to check out, and I'd be happy to put a video out on it if that's something you guys would like to see as well. And I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but the author does also plan to eventually add some of the Fallout-based actual firearms and maybe even laser weaponry. It's just dependent on a couple of mods. Recently, Blade and Sorcery did have an update that kind of made all of the mods need an update, much like what's happening to Skyrim right now, and we're just waiting on some of those dependencies to get updated. That way, we can have some more firearms and things like that. But yeah, I highly encourage you guys to go check out this mod yourself if you have access to Blade and Sorcery on PC, and go ahead and check out the Nexus. There's a lot of really cool stuff on there. So, if you want to try this mod out for yourself, I will have it linked down in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about the Blade and Sorcery footage. It's not something we normally do, but it is a game I do enjoy, and it has a pretty big modding scene. If this is something you'd like to see more of, let me know by dropping a like and leaving a comment down below. Seriously, I want your feedback. If you don't want to see it, let me know that too. We can stick to Fallout. I'm happy to do this either way. This is just some cool new stuff in a nice cool modding scene that doesn't really get too much coverage. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace!